and welcome my Capricorn friends. This is Jennifer from Mystic Star. I want to thank you so much for spending time with me today and watching this video. This is going to be my group reading for Mercury Retrograde for my Capricorn friends. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like we just exited Mercury Retrograde. With all the shenanigans that it brings, it's sometimes really hard to get excited about Mercury Retrograde. This astrological phenomenon does kind of wreak havoc in our lives. However, like everything else, it has another side. We've got duality to this. Mercury retrograde does offer us some guidance and wisdom because when we start to slow down, we start to be able to understand things. Well, Mercury retrograde is slowing down and it has much to share. And I wanna focus in on that. Yes, I acknowledge there are lots of miscommunications and communication problems, and I won't get on the technology issues. However, when we focus in on the high vibrational loving energy, we start to lessen that lower vibrational stuckness and mishaps. For this reading, I've chosen to use the Wild Unknown Tarot and the Energy Oracle. Like always, there are links below to both these fantastic decks, so should they speak to you, you can go check them out for yourselves. Alright my Capricorn friends, let's see what the cards have to say today. What cards represent Mercury Retrograde for my Capricorn friends? The first one, the Ace of Cups. Aces are a gift. Cups about intuition and emotion. The, whoops, the Ace of Cups is literally the Holy Grail. That life-giving and nurturing energy, that connection into those higher vibrational beings and the universe. It's really up to us to take hold of that cup and start drinking from it. Then we have the Six of Cups. Sixes are about harmony and balance. Again, we have more cups. Now the Six of Cups is a reminiscing card. It encourages us to reflect backwards. And with the Ace of Cups, we want to stay in the higher vibration, especially with Mercury Retrograde. So easy to get focused in on that low vibrational energy. And it's that energy that starts to spiral us downwards to that very stuck feeling. When we stay high vibration with that life-giving energy, that's when we can literally start to see our roots strengthen and we can start to gain more knowledge and strengthening our tools and abilities to really strengthen that root system and bring in that balance. the star, the 17th card in the Major Arcana, and it talks about our hopes and dreams. Now when you have the star against the Six of Cups and the Eight of Cups, it leads me to believe that we need to do some rejigging here, my friends. Our hopes and dreams may be too defined. The more restrictions we put on things and we put on the universe, where we start to micromanage and tell them what we know we need, which is the farthest from the truth. We really never truly know what it is we need because we don't have that big picture. So it's time to reflect in and maybe loosen the reins a bit, giving the universe more opportunity to be able to make this hopes and dreams, this star become even grander. Because like I said, we don't have that ultimate view. We need that direction. We need some guidance here. Reminiscing as to how things have changed and unfolded will help. It'll help you give direction and it'll help you start to loosen the reins a bit. And then finally, the Seven of Swords. Sevens are a bit of a challenge number, I won't lie. Swords, truth and knowledge. The Seven of Swords talks about trying to get away 
with just a little too much. In the original card, we have this man in a polka dotted shirt stealing five swords and leaving two, leaving that trail behind him. We need to start to strengthen that root system and gain further knowledge about where it is we need to go and what we should be doing to pull ourselves in alignment. We're kind of out of whack here, my uh, Capricorn friends. We're looking at trying to pull the wool over other people and our eyes. It's time to stand up and be accountable for what it is you're trying to achieve and what you can truly achieve. That discrepancy will lessen as we start to truly understand who it is we are. So that's what Mercury Retrograde is looking at for you. And let's be honest, Mercury Retrograde it is a lot more than that because it's a time of miscommunication and technology issues. So how can we bring this into alignment more? How can my Capricorn friends embrace this message? And I know it's a bit of a harsh one. And bring, well, everything into alignment for themselves. So that they're focusing in on that abundance and love. Six of Swords. Sixes are, like I said, about balance and harmony. The Swords got that truth again. The Six of Swords is a card that encourages us to move forward. The original card has a woman and a, a small child crossing a body of water with a ferryman. On the right hand side, it's choppy water. Left hand side, calmer. Yes, we're going to have some challenges with Mercury Retrograde. Yes, it's going to be a challenge to take some of this on. Because anytime we start to critically look at what it is we can and cannot do, we start to have those low vibrational energies come up because we start to question it, who we are. And let's be honest, our ego doesn't like it. So it starts to throw in some of that low vibrational energy. Pushing through will help you push to that calmer side trying to stay in the high vibration, balancing ourselves out. And another piece aspect of the star is that energy flow. The original cards ha has a woman who is kneeling on the water and on the land and pouring water or energy onto that, a pool of water and then onto the land. When we start to balance our energy flow, start to be more authentic, we're gonna have that calmer and abundant energy going forward. Then we have the Four of Cups. Fours are a foundational structural number. Cups, that intuition and emotion. The Three of Cups talks about missing a key element in our lives, literally that Holy Grail. The original card, a man looking very mundanely at three upright cups, and they're in the air beside him is this mystical hand handing him one single cup, the Holy Grail. He's been avoiding it. He hasn't been seeing it. We have not been seeing what's right in front of our eyes. We've been blinded and not paying attention to what the universe is telling us. It's time to take that Holy Grail and start to drink from it. Now I didn't mention we do have double sixes. So the angels are telling you when you see that double six, that this is the time to balance your thoughts between the physical and the spiritual world, which is very much what we're looking at, that balance and rejigging of things. And it's not just on one aspect. It's not just in the spiritual element. We're looking at all realms and dimensions here. The Wheel of Fortune, the 10th card in the Major Arcana. We're looking at a shift here, my Capricorn friends. It's time to get on that bandwagon because it's happening. We have no control over how things are changing, but they will start to change. And if it's not here and now that we make those choices, we will start to see the tower come in and the universe start to kick us in the pants a bit more to push us forward. 
Then we have the Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands talks about all that we've achieved, all that passion and creative energy that has helped to bring stability in our lives through creating amazing aspects and overcoming those challenges. It gives us literally that backbone. And it also encourages us not to back down. This isn't a time just to recoil and have a nap. This is a time to stand up, take that courage and determination, overcome the challenges, whether it be through working with our inner selves or Mercury retrograde, so that we can embrace this change. We can take that holy grail. We can make some positive shifts in our lives. The Five of Wands. We know Mercury retrograde can be a bear. We know it's a challenge. It's never a fun part of our year. We go into it three times a year. And in this time, we can anticipate those conflicting energies, those conflicting passions. Knowing that in advance helps us to stay in that high vibration. So when things start to feel off and you start to misunderstand or something, somebody says something, instead of using that gut reaction of the lower vibrational self, connecting into that high vibrational self to gain guidance and insight. But rather than being reactive, we can start to look at that bigger picture. What is really going on here? And then we have the Ace of Pentacles. Ace is a gift. Pentacles, that growth in abundance. When we start to embrace what Mercury Retrograde is offering us and embrace who it is we truly are, we're going to see amazing growth and more importantly, prosperity. Pentacles are about growth and abundance. And it's in that abundance that's going to really help push us forward. Because let's be honest, that abundance piece is what we're looking for, whether it be in wealth, in spirituality, in all aspects and dimensions of our lives. Now, we also have double ones, double aces. In angel messages, when you've got that multiple one, the angels are telling you, this is a time you need to believe in yourself and your abilities. And then finally, the seven of wands. Really anchored into that nine of wands of not backing down. Now I'm not suggesting you go out and get into fights with people. I already said that conflictual energy, we need to be going from the high vibration rather than the low vibration. This is going to be a, well, an argument, if you will, between yourself, that high self, and that low self. Your ego will hate this. It's time to embrace that higher vibrational self and gain that guidance to push you forward bringing in that creative and manifestation that we need and we so desire right now. That is what we need to really focus in on during Mercury Retrograde. All right, let's look at some blessings here. What blessing can my Capricorn friends embrace? For Mercury Retrograde. Oh, that one hit the floor. I do ask them to keep it on the table. I really do. The first one, Magician in the Mirror. Very much connected into the Magician card of using your abilities and your skills to create in your life. We have them. We know we have them. The important piece is to connect into that universal energy, that holy grail, so that you're able to magnify and amplify them. When we use our very limited resources and energy for something, what happens is we become exhausted and burnt out. When we start to tap in and draw down that universal energy that's infinite, that's when we can start to create amazing pieces in our lives with ease and with gusto because we're not burning ourselves out. We're not depleting ourselves. Another piece here is we've got that balance piece. 
we need to make sure we stay balanced and centered during this time. Mercury retrograde lights to keep us to uh, topsy-turvy. Staying centered and balanced will help you embrace this amazing opportunity. Healer of the ages. Part of this amazing abundance and this energy that we're looking at is going to be that healing aspect. When we stop pretending and we stop being false with ourselves, and it's more for ourselves than with others, that's when we start to be able to heal ourselves. And we are the generation of healers. We need to start to heal ourselves. And then when we start to heal ourselves and raise our vibration, we start to heal others through that high vibrational, unconditional, loving energy. Now, both these men have the same stance. Very much talking about some uh, using this amazing energy and I said universal energy, this man, it's a depicted depiction of Jesus, is using that universal energy, that Reiki energy. Well, we've got a mirror here, my friends. We've got to re reflect it back onto us. We need to start with us before we can start dealing with others. Storm warning. And we know we're in, heading into Mercury retrograde. We know that there's going to be some turbulence here. It's not going to be as easy peasy as we'd hoped. However, when things are handed to us, we don't find as much meaning and we don't learn as much. This gives us an amazing opportunity to do some tremendous healing. Now something that's catching my attention, because I, we just talked about you know easy peasy times, fives, they just jumped out at me. The Five of Wands, the 51st card, the 53rd card. Fives, they're a conflictual number in tarot. However, in angel messages, they're not. In angel messages, when you see that multiple five, the angels are telling you that there's a positive change coming and you should be excited for this next adventure. Then we also have double tens, the 10 and the 10. Again, we're looking at a time of personal development and spiritual enlightenment. We just need to slow things down and embrace this change. Financial constraints. It's so easy to head into that low vibrational energy. I'm not gonna lie to you. Let's be honest. The financial, materialistic aspect of our world and our lives is, an, is a very important aspect. However, big however, when we start to focus in on what we think we should have or what we want, we lower our vibration. Or when we start to hyper focus in on things like bills and feeling overwhelmed at that financial end, we lower our vibration. We need to stay in the high vibration. Yes, acknowledging this is something we have to be mindful of and we have to work towards. However, focusing in on directing our energies to that high vibration. Because when we start to focus in on that high vibration, when we start to heal ourselves, that's when we start to see that ability to manifest and create in our lives go up. And that abundance piece starts to take care of those financial constraints. And finally, the thinking woman. Very much talking about those critical thinking skills. I said we need to slow down. We need to stay in that high vibration. We need to take those steps back instead of exploding and reacting. Using our thinking skills so that we can start to make those positive high vibrational choices rather than the reactive low vibrational ones. I want to thank you so much for spending time with me today and watching this video. I hope that you found this video fun and helpful and that you were able to gain some direction and insight into what Mercury Retrograde is going to offer for you. If you like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for the latest content. There's so much more to come, my friends. The best way to stay connected so you don't miss any of the insight and healing is to subscribe to my channel and hit that little red bell so you don't miss anything. Also, if you enjoyed this video and want to support me in making more, 
I have a Patreon page with many tiers and lots of perks. In some of the tiers, the perks are private readings and healings with myself. I provided a helpful link below, so why not go check it out? Until tomorrow, my Capricorn friends, 